Hi, we're in Seneca, Oregon, and today we're at Sylvie's Valley Ranch. And we're talking to certified golf course superintendent and former GCSAA president, Sean Houlihan. Hey, Sean. How you doing, folks? <laughs> <laughs> so what a what a property. You know, I couldn't do it justice by trying to explain what's going on here. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Sylvie's sure. Valley Ranch? Sure, Ken. Uh, the, you know, Sylvie's Valley Ranch is the biggest continuous ranch in Oregon. Uh, it's 144,000 acres. It's a active organic cattle ranch and goat ranch. And we are uh, really well known for being a uh, Eastern Oregon new destination resort, the Craddock and Hankins course. We've got great notoriety uh, in the golf world for being a reversible golf course. So these are two golf courses on a footprint of about one and a half. And so we do a lot of interesting things. We have golfers from all over the world actually come to try to experience it. And it's been great because we're not just a reversible golf course, which is different than everything else. We really do a lot of our management and maintenance on the golf course very differently. Correct me if I'm wrong. Did St. Andrews start out as a reversible? Yeah, it still is. Yeah. They play okay. it reversibly yeah. one year. And, I'm, and my awareness is that really the three reversible golf courses are St. Andrews, the Loop, in uh, Michigan and Sylvie's Alley Ranch here, the Craddock and Hankins courses. Very cool. Yeah. And uh, Doak was the loop, loop right? The loop. Yeah. Right. yeah Dan yeah. Hickson's our golf course architect here at, uh, yeah. at uh, Sylvie's Alley Ranch. So we spent uh, last night hanging out together. We're talking about the property and all the stuff going on here. And I've identified 375 BMPs that you guys have employed here at this property. We're going to go with uh, water conservation. So let's hear more about your water conservation efforts here. So that's great. I, 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 it's fun for me, uh, you know, I have 40 years of being a golf course superintendent just about now, and to be actually doing something totally different, you know, where I, for how many years was I worried about dry spots and brown spots, where here now I'm just focusing on playability, not worrying about the color, we have, uh, and, and I'll, I'll tell everybody this, when it talks about conservation, water conservation, it starts with our owner. Our owner is so solidly behind us and, and encouraging me to conserve as much water as I can and to still provide a championship level golf courses. And so that's what we do, but we, we don't worry about color. We worry about playability. You know, we've got state-of-the-art irrigation system so we can conserve water, not so we can use it. You can pinpoint and accurately target where you want to put the water. Right. We focus on where the carts enter and exit the fairways, and we water greens and tees because you have to, you know, we, we, we really have to. But other than that, Come uh, about middle of July, we really shut the water off and let the fairways, these are fair, fescue fairways, they can go, the fine fescue can go dormant. It goes dormant pretty quick when you turn the water off, which is one of its really resilient qualities. So we will put a little water on, on maybe every two, three weeks, just enough to keep everything from going off, completely off. But it's it will go pretty solid brown and, and play like a true Lynx golf course. So one of the points I want to make is that not every golf course could do what you're doing, but you guys identify a way to conserve all of this water, which in turn reduces fungicide use. Oh yeah. So we have very little inputs on these golf courses. So I mean, when I mean little, very little, we'll make one fungicide applications to greens only, and that's coming in about a week or two for snow mold. Cause we do get, we're a mountain meadow, high mountain meadow golf course at just about 5,000 foot elevation. We'll get a good snowpack up here. And so we have to do something for snow mold. That's the only fungicide application I make all year. But you know, we say not every golf course can do this. Really, truthfully, I think most superintendents do some level of this because they focus on playability and what they, where they can go and how far they can do it. And so, you know, we all, we talk firm and fast conditions and everybody's paying attention to how water use. Sure. They, they really are. And so no one wants to play a, a soaking wet golf course. So I think to certain levels that most guys do something like this, most golf courses do it. It's just instinctive yeah. because it's part of the game. Yeah. But we, we're pushing it further than most courses could because you know clearly we're, we're a, a boutique resort our guests come from all over the country and if not the world 
and we just don't worry about the effects of it. But we don't have 200 carts running around here every day, so that's a big deal. Right, and is there a process you use to educate the golfers as to why these fairways look the way they do in the summer? Yeah, thanks, thanks, that's a great point. So, you know, I actually have an SOP, which is really a BMP that's on our website that we share with our guests. And it's about our water use here and how we, why we do it and what we do and how we manage it. So our, when our golfers come, they might see and might be familiar with a golf course that's really dormant in the middle of summer, brown and whatever, but then they, they can read it. Our, all our employees are trained on it to explain that to them and they get it, yeah. you know, they get it. And so that's part of, of the story of Sylvie's Valley is that really we want it to be great for the environment, for the animals who live on the ranch for our guests. Well, uh, super impressive. Uh, I hope more golf courses and the golf industry in general will follow the lead of uh, Silver's Valley Ranch and continue to make strides in water conservation because it's really an important part of golf's future. Uh, so uh, thanks for having me here today and hosting me and uh, showing me around the property. And I hope, hopefully I can come back yeah, sometime. Next time you come, we'll go on a bike ride. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. All a right. deal. All right. All right thanks, Sean. All right.